What's up guys, it's Logan here from the Motorcycle Forge and if you've just installed a PWK flat slide carb and now your bike is running like this <laughs> then by the end of this video it'll be running like this. Now before you get to tuning your bike you're going to want a starting point. So what I would recommend is these jets here for a 28 or a 30mm PWK flat slide carb. This is just a starting point, it'll get the bike to run, you can test it and then we'll get to tuning. Now you're going to want to know how to adjust your mixture screw on your carburetor. So if you have an OCO carb like this and your mixture screw is on this side of the carb, that means it is an air screw and that means if you screw it inwards it's going to make it richer, if you screw it outwards it's going to make it leaner. And if your mixture screw is on the other side of the carb like that there, that means it's a fuel screw so if you screw it inwards it'll make it leaner, if you screw it outwards it'll make it richer and add more fuel. Now to tune your carburetor correctly, you're gonna want it hot, and I mean hot. So go for a good ride, get up to operating temperature, then come back and we can start the tuning. Now if your bike is struggling to idle, you may need to turn your idle up a little bit, and that is that big screw there, and just give it a tweak. Inwards will increase the idle. What I've done there is I have adjusted the mixture screw to the fastest point, turn the idle down, Till it's just above stalling, adjusted the mixture screw again, find where it's fastest idle. Once you've got the mixture screw set where the bike is idling the fastest, that's good, then just adjust your idle up to where you want your idle set, and then all you gotta do is grab your throttle, give it a blip, and if it picks up revs quickly and returns to idle quickly, then you're good to go. If it's slow to return to idle, that means it's lean on the desal circuit, so you're gonna need a bigger pilot jet, or Grab your ear screw and mixture and turn it in, which will richen it up, and give it a blip again, it should return to idle quicker. If it is not picking up revs quickly, it could be too rich or too lean, so you're just going to have to play with your mixture screw and figure out which one it is. Now, how we find out what idle jet I need to change it to, because I started, I think it's got a 50 pilot jet in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our screwdriver here, and we're going to turn the mixture screw all the way in we're going to count how many turns till it's fully seated and then based on where it is we'll be able to know where we need a bigger or smaller pilot jet half a turn one and a half four and a half almost five right so that means pretty much pilot jet is way too big perfect idle should be about one and a half turns out from fully seated according to oko i'm going to go a lot smaller on the pilot jet i'm probably going to put a, a 42 in it and then i'll try it again and see how many turns so we want it between one and two turns from fully seated now we have to change the pilot jet so we're going to pop the bike up on the stand take the bowl off the carb and then swap the jet set Right, I finally got the idle jet out and it was a 50 as I thought it was. Now hopefully you've got an assortment of jets so you can get the right one otherwise it's going to make tuning a little bit hard. So I was thinking 42 but I might put a 45 in it and see how it goes and then if it's pretty close then I'll leave it. Otherwise we have to put 42 or 40 or maybe even leaner. Time to kick her in the guts and see if she goes and then I'll have to get it hot again because it's cooled down and uh, readjust the mixture and check where we're at. Now you've got your low speed circuit or your idle set correctly, it's time to move on to the mid range which is our needle. So what we're going to do for that to make it super easy to test is on your throttle, as you can see here, I have marked this with four marks from in 25% increments and so it's 25, 50, 75, 100. Now your needle roughly controls between 25 to 75% on your throttle. but there is overlap, it's not exactly that to be precise. So don't freak out if you change one thing and it alters something else because that overlapping means that they all affect each other. You're gonna to want to go ride your bike again with those marks on your throttle and hold it at 25. Listen to what it's doing. If it's going buh, 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 then it's possibly too rich. If it's a two stroke, it's going ding, 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 like dinging a lot more than normal. 
is most likely too lean. Now two and four strokes will be slow to return to idle if they're running lean in the mid-range. Now if your bike was either rich or lean and you need to adjust your mid-range now you're going to need to adjust your needle. So that means you're going to have to move the clip. So pretty much if it was running lean you're going to want to move the clip down and if it was running rich you're going to want to move the clip up. Simplest and easiest way to change your needle position is with a pair of pliers. You can just grab onto the clip, pull it off like so, and then you're not going to lose it because it's as easy to lose as a 10 millimeter socket. Right, now after you've tested all your needle positions, then and that's all good to go, and the mid-range is set, next is the fun bit, which is your mains, which is this jet here, and that is going to be full throttle. Now you're going to want a nice open space where you're not going to run over your neighbor's cat because testing full throttle, you're gonna to wanna to be able to hold it pinned for at least five, 10 seconds, and that also checks that your float height is set high enough that you're not gonna drain the bowl and starve the bike of fuel. And what you're looking for when you're testing the main is exactly what you're looking for when you're testing your mid-range. So use the skills you learnt from that, apply it to your main jet, and should be good to go. Now, if you like this video on motorcycle carb tuning, then you're gonna like my other video on exhaust tuning where you can get the most horsepower out of your exhaust system. Cause let's be honest, you're a motorcyclist and you want horsepower. And this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.